sa tingin ko lang yung noon, mas malakas yung non-economic rewards. Kaya yung passion was very strong, yung commitment, di baling hindi makauwi sa bahay, matapos lang yung trabaho. Pumasok ako sa PPSP dahil kay Apat. Siya nagpapasok sa akin. After several years of studying in Manila and working in the Visayas, I wanted to go home. Lumipat ako sa Mindanao in 1989 and then in 96, MRO na talaga hanggang 2013. Then 2013 hanggang 2019, head office. During our time, pagpasok sa PBSP, bugbog kami doon sa, hindi naman siguro, indoctrination. Pero parang ganun, no? On social development. May training talaga yan, that man is the center of development. Kaya ang pagtingin ng mga staff noon, and even the behavior was, PBSP is more of a vocation. It's not just a job. Hindi pinag-uusapan ang posisyon eh. Pag may trabaho o oh, ano, ano ba maitutulong ko. So tulungan yung malakas yung teamwork with a singular goal of finishing the job. Kilala namin yung mga spouses, pati yung mga anak. Kahit pag parties, kasama rin yung families. Yung concern, hindi lang nakatutok doon sa staff mismo, kundi pati yung pamilya nila. May standing order kami noon eh. particularly from Ambassador Tan. Sabi niya, go to communities and make PBSP obsolete in those areas. Yung hindi na nila kailangan yung tulong natin. And, and leave communities in good hands. And then we also had Ernie telling us na ang indicator daw niya that a program officer is working kung nangingitim na siya at nagkakakalyo sa paglalakad at pagbibitbit ng bag. Ang laking dilema ko yan noon. Kasi kung hindi ako mangitim, hindi ako papasa kay Ernie. Eh dati na akong maitim. Hindi namin nagagamit ang leaves noon eh. Kung may biglang kailangan gawin, cancel yung leave. Kahit may sakit na eh, pumapasok pa rin kasi may kailangan tapusin. Oh. To be good stewards of resources, ang ugali namin noon is we chose modest but comfortable and safe accommodations and modes of transport. We shied away sa mga class na hotels. Madalas sa bus terminal kami natutulog kung mga 3 hours lang naman yung aantayin for the next bus ride. Magrent na lang kami ng folding bed at bibili ng katol para di lamukin. My journey with PBSP was laden with a lot of proud moments. The thing that I'm really proud of happened every time I attended a forum or gathering. where there were so many ex-PBSP staff in attendance who still retain PBSP's values and culture and who are doing well in their respective organizations. And I felt very privileged to be a part of this big family. Kaya, sa akin, this is the testament that you or we, the staff is uh, PBSP's true and real legacy. Don't lose sight of the goal, which is the development of man. Kaya nandiyan ang PPSP because of man. Yung tao ang kliyente natin at beneficiary natin. Hindi yung skwelahan, kundi yung estudyante. Hindi yung dagat, kundi yung fisherman. So don't lose sight of the goal. This is Marilyn Moncada and this is my PPSP story.